All right, so based on what I say to you, like, who would you vote? Um... Ontem tive um sonho maluco, onde os americanos participavam das votações para presidente do Brasil. Embora fosse só a imaginação, deixe de levar esse sonho a sério. E por isso... Hoje eu tô em San Diego e eu vou estar entrevistando o máximo de americanos possíveis para saber o que, que eles acham do Lula e do Bolsonaro. O plano é apresentar duas propostas de cada um, falar de alguns escândalos e no final perguntar para quem os entrevistados votariam. Lembrando que esse vídeo não tem nenhum viés político e nosso objetivo é puro entretenimento e informação. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Yeah, I don't have an opinion of politics. I spent yeah. too much time in the Marine Corps and I hate all politicians, and I'm sorry. It's totally yeah. fine. Yeah, no, I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. I really like your car. Okay, thank you. Será que eles não estão querendo fazer a entrevista por causa que é política? Será que eu não deveria estar fazendo esse vídeo por causa que é política? Será que eu vou ser cancelado? Vamos descobrir. Hi. I would usually talk to you, but someone's waiting for me for lunch. No worries. Excuse me. Hi, I don't want to bother you, man. Would you like to participate? Perfect. What's your name? Mike. Hi, please come. Would you guess that our president right now, it's left or right? Right. No idea. I would say right. Probably Republican. Probably right. Why would make you guess that? Uh, just from what I've heard. I don't know. No, I've heard a couple of stories about uh, the president in Brazil. You know him, I'm sorry. Uh, vaguely. You remember his name? Bolsonaro? Call him like the, the Brazilian Trump. Like. One of his uh, main propositions is to expand the access to firearms for ordinary people. Just a little context, it's not as easy to buy guns like you. You agree with that? Well, I disagree to uh, exposing the... So oh, you go against this, this proposition? Correct. It should be a uh, ban for uh, civilians, just probably considered just for the military, yeah. I don't know anything about arms or I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I mean, I'm not a big gun guy. I don't like guns, so I don't think people should have them. People have them, right? No. If they're already illegal and robbers have them, I don't know. I mean, how is that? Maybe this should be one of his propositions is create some uh, laws to protect Amazon. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. No guns, and they should protect the rainforest. <laughs> I think saving the Amazon is good. I have concerns with the deforestation. We have to, to remember that like their, their propositions most, most of the times are going to be good. So, you know, it's good on paper. The other candidate, are you familiar with him? No. Lula, it's his name. And he wants to strengthen the legislation for like fake news, the spread of fake news on the internet. Be a speech of freedom, right? So that's how it should be. Gotcha. So you, you're against this as well? Correct, yeah. Uh, I think that would be good. We don't need a lot of information. That's especially false. I'm for trying to stop the spread of fake news. How governments do that, though, could also be considered censorship. Oppressive regimes use that tactic all the time to uh, call something fake that's not. He wants to work on valuing the minimum wage, focusing on recovering the purchasing power, power of workers. Well, I mean, they're trying to do that here as well, raising the minimum wage and all that kind of stuff. I think that's it's a necessary evil. Like, people need to be able to purchase things to... Live. Our current president, 2016, in Congress, he showed him like some recognition for a coronel that we had in Brazil, in, and he was considered a torture. Please say that the woman they make less because they get pregnant. The employers they have to to pay for that. And this other guy, the, his biggest scandals, he was found like in the middle of like the biggest corruption that we had in Brazil. What's your opinion on these facts? Um, that's pretty crazy. Assuming that's true, you know, because I don't know that much about. Brazilian politics. Would you vote in someone that hasn't finished the high school? Uh, I guess it depends. Hmm. That's a hard one without context, I know. Yeah, it, it is because some people, I don't high know, like high school, though. yeah, it, it's it, pretty easy to complete high school. I think age is important. I don't think it, uh, finishing high school matters. Do you only think it's, uh, it's more handsome? Oh, more handsome? Oh God, um, probably him, I guess. A little intimidating, but. <laughs> <laughs> Good Democrat. No, it's hard, but based on what I said, these two propositions, which one would you vote? Antes de mostrar o resultado, preciso da sua ajuda. Esse foi um dos vídeos mais desafiadores que fiz. E se você está curtindo, a única coisa que eu peço é para se inscrever. I don't know enough about it to make an informed decision because I live here. Uh, I'm probably. <laughs> We'll probably go with him. Yeah, because power to the people. I honestly can't choose. They're both pretty bad. So that would be your main reason for voting? Him? Yeah, probably. That's not really fair that you guys can't have something to protect yourself. We typically vote for Democratic. Would you mind sharing if you're Republican or Democrat? Neither, actually. Neither. Yeah, like right in the middle. 
Perfect. Mike, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, bro. Good to meet you.